a psychic medium at the age of 22. Matt Fraser is joining us now, and he's uh, got tickets to his show that he's given away. You can see him at Foxwoods. He's already been making our audience cry, connecting with the beyond, so stay with us. All right, we are joined by internationally known and 22-year-old psychic medium, Matt Frazier, Matt, thank you so much for being oh, here. Oh, it's great to be here, Carol. And I love that you got your big show and you're doing all these things and you're going to be at Foxwoods, but you are a local yokel. You're a New Englander. I am, and I love it. You were born and raised, and you were born in Boston, right? No, I was born in Rhode Island. Born in Rhode Island. And now I'm living in the Boston area. And now you're living in Boston. But you grew up in Rhode Island. I did. Awesome. So when you were, when you were really little, did you know you were psychic? Well, I had people coming to visit me at night, and it wasn't, you know, those here in the physical world. It was the, the spirits. And you have to remember that back in those days, you know, my grandmother had the gift, and who was passed on to my mother and passed on to me. So being four years old, I knew that I could hear and see things that others could not. And it was scary to me. Right, right. And you, I guess you were fortunate in that your parents were able to help you and support you because they knew what was going on. Oh, absolutely. And my mom was the one who always told me, you know, to embrace it. But at that age, I was so scared. I would be, you know, in my bedroom, pulling the covers over my head. I didn't want to see. I didn't want to communicate with the departed just because it was scary at that age. So now you're going out and you've actually made it a profession. At 22 years old, you're kind of touring all over the place. We've got tickets coming up to Foxwoods, um, th this event coming up that people can go see you. How does it work for you? Like when you're in a crowd of people like that and you're going to do a reading are you seeing everybody connected to those people or just certain people are coming through well basically what I say is that the other side runs the show it's like a big family reunion coming there it's all messages of love and inspiration and really just you know those on the other side who come through one by one to pass messages to those in the audience so we you know this uh, uh, fathers, sisters, brothers, anyone who you can imagine comes through with all, you know, basically memories of what they experienced here in this physical world and then also validation so their loved ones in the audience know that they are forever with them and that they're safe and at peace. And obviously for you, the, the gift is highly tuned and this is what you're doing, but in, in your audience you like to stress you're a medium with a message. You've actually written a book where you talk about that we ourselves, all of us can connect to our psychic impulses or even to our departed loved ones? Oh, absolutely. You know, our loved ones are all around us. They never leave us. So they're constantly giving us signs and symbols from the other side to show that they're with us at all times. And so when we go to Foxes, I'm seeing it like this. Is this how it's going to be? How do you know who to go up to and who to get a reading, who to, who to give a reading to? Like I said, it's like the other side that basically runs the show. They just kind of like wave over. It's like kind of quick bits of information. I'll hear things. I'll see, the, see things, feel things. Any way that those on the other side can communicate with me to get the message through, they will. And I know coming up you're going to do, um, you've already been doing some readings in our audience. In fact, poor Christina Ronimo still has to cook and she's wiping away tears over there. Um, do you, how are these messages healing for people? Well, because it shows them that that bond of love never dies. You know, and a lot of times people come to the events and they're wondering, maybe they had conflict with someone before they passed, or maybe there was some, you know, um, they're wondering, you know, if that person is at peace on the other side. And really what these events show is that that bond of love is never broken, that dead is not dead. Hmm. You know, there is no separation, that your loved ones on the other side are still with you. Just in a different way and we can all feel them. Let me ask you a question. My religion taught me that when you go to you, you check out, you're either going up or you're going down. You ever see people? I haven't had anyone talk to me from down below, oh, thank right, God. Yeah. So for, to me that world doesn't exist. You know, I've only heard of people who come from the other side and tell me how wonderful it is and how wonderful it is to be able to watch over their family here in the physical world. And you can't see anything negative about like, can, can you, will you get a message for somebody like, don't take the train next week, you know, or something like that? You no, like they that? only bring through messages of comfort and ways that they can help us here in, in this world. What their message is, is to provide guidance to us here in this world. It's so if it's something that can be avoided or something that, you know, is going to help us, then yes, they'll, get, they'll receive the message. But, it's, but I don't get any messages like you're going to die or someone's going to pass or anything like that. You know, it's all messages of inspiration because hmm. yeah. they want us to be happy here yeah. in this world. A lot of people ask, like, God forbid they lose someone who's young. Do they stay young on the other their side or if someone's very old do they return to being young what from your perspective what what do you think happens well it actually comes through with their personality it's whatever you know their personality was here in this world so if you had a grandfather who used to like to remember himself when he was like you know 26 and you know had had all the women around him and so on and so forth that's kind of how they come through with the readings to kind of show off their personality and to show that they, that not much has changed on the other side but most times they'll come through in a way that the audience or the person who's get receiving the reading will be able to recognize them. And do you have a private practice? So do you, do you see people individually? 
individually, or how, do, how does that? Or you just do now? You're just doing these huge shows. Well, I do the shows, but also if people need like a one-on-one -on -one in depth session, I also do private readings by phone. You do by, it by phone. phone. Oh, okay. And a lot of people ask about that, but I guess I've asked other psychics. They say energy is energy. You don't need to be with the person. Well, here's the reason why, Kara, because I'm not reading you. I'm not looking at you for clues or anything like that. Basically, what it is is quick bits of information where it's easier to read somebody by phone because you're connecting just with the energy and the person on the other side. And they're around all of us. Mm -hmm. So it's really like information that I'll receive when I get on the phone with the person. And usually the person, the departed, the, the departed person comes beforehand to talk to me and tell me, you know, who they're looking for, who's you know, for the client who's calling in or, you know, what messages they already have before they even get on the phone. Hmm, interesting. Awesome. All right, well, your event is at Foxwoods March 23rd, 4 to 6. Um, the tickets, we're going to have the information. It's at the Grand Celebrity Ballroom. Lots of people coming, and you'll have your book there, The Secrets to Unlocking Your Own Psychic Ability, as well. We're going to be giving away four tickets. So if someone out there is listening and thinking, hey, I really want to meet you, uh, stay tuned, because you're going to come back and you want to do, you're going to show how it works. We're going to get a little reading coming up. Absolutely. Wow. All right. In the meantime, Christine Euronimo is in the kitchen next. She's going to be showing us a quick and easy uh, it's cannoli dip. It's how cannoli wonderful dip. is that? I thought it was mayonnaise. <laughs> I was getting all freaked out. <laughs> coming up, we're going to get a reading right here on the air. Matt Fraser is going to pick one of our audience members and read up on them. Don't I go anywhere. I think to talk to us. Us? Uh-huh. Seriously? All right. Back with internationally known psychic Matt. Frazier, and we're giving away four tickets to see him at Foxwoods. You're coming on March 23rd, about 250 people, so it'll still be an intimate experience. Um, and the way you're winning these tickets is be the third emailer and tell us the name of Matt's book that's out now. It talks about how we can develop our own psychic abilities. So tell us in the third mail email or mail at betterct.com. Mail at betterct.com. Don't send it to Karen and I because we won't get it. Right. All right. And the event, if you don't win, you can always go March 23rd, 4 to 6 p.m. for a reading. So behind the scenes, stuff has already been happening. And so I know you wanted to, uh, we're curious, you, you want to read a little bit on us, but we brought Christina Ranimo up because um, someone came through for her and you, put, you had her in tears. Absolutely, because you have to remember that this isn't just my job, it's my life. Right. No matter where I go, you know, your loved ones are always there. And what I tell people is that you don't bring your loved ones, I don't bring your loved ones to you, you bring them to me. Mm -hmm. So they're following you around all day, you know, watching over you, protecting you. You know, they're not following the psychic medium. So it's like, you know, when I walk into a place, it's like automatically, you know, fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers all kind of come in trying to pass messages on and let, let you know, their loved ones here know that they are with us. Hmm. So let's talk about Christine. Let's talk about Christine. So I walked in and, you know, she's doing the cooking segment over there and I kind of came running up to her and was telling you about your godmother who passed, mm -hmm. who came through right away saying, like, I'm the godmother, I'm the godmother. It's amazing. I, I'm speechless. I can't even talk about it because I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> now, this is your mother's sister? This is my mother's twin sister. She died of cancer. Uh, she was my godmother and she was just one of the most important people in my life hmm. and she was the reason why I adopted from Ethiopia and also was the inspiration uh, and the drive behind me writing and publishing my book that's coming out and he so, Matt, you don't see if do you see a physical pr what she looked like or you just you feel a spirit it's or? like quick bits of information like when I had connected with her I heard in my ear you know godmother whispered to me told me that she passed of, of cancer told me you know that everybody got to see her before passing because she was bringing back the moments when everybody was with her one by one by one and that's true and, and talking to her and you know the fact that she wrote a book about her she was bringing up information that she knew about her you know about what she was doing right now letting her know that she was around her and watching over her hmm. and that's basically how it is it's just quick bits of information through visions through feelings through you know and like I says any way they can kind of get the message through okay T tell them about the book what you saw oh and the book was like I didn't know if it was like a family book or what exactly it was but she was like on the other side like showed me in heaven like flipping through the pages uh -huh. of this book that she's seen that you put together uh -huh. which is the children's book that you're using as an inspirational story that um, because she inspired you when she was here in this right, world. Right, correct. And yeah. that's basically what they do when they do come through a message is letting you know, you know, that they're thankful for the way that you're remembering them and also that they are with you and supporting you 24-7 and telling her about how proud she was of her of all that she did. So, here's Kara. 
Well, well okay. and there's Scott. You can read both of us. We don't get to pick. It's his relatives are louder. Okay. okay, and one of the things is, like, as I came through, like, I definitely heard father figure for you, so your dad passed. Yeah. So know that he's definitely stepping forward around you, like, very protective over you, like, on the other side. Definitely tells me here, like, to slow down a little bit, because you go through life, like, so fast. He keeps telling me here, like, he sees you, like, go, 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 24-7, saying, like, just relax, relax. And he keeps telling me here, like, you haven't been able to sleep, and it's because your mind is going, 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 like, you're constantly, like, thinking about things. And he tells me here, like, you're constantly, like, reading emails or checking your phone or things like that that he's showing me and telling me here like it's okay like just relax like everything's going to be fine he tells me here you have two children so mm -hmm. you have two children here in this world mm -hmm. okay is it a boy and a girl that you mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. so know that he's around your children here was there a name that was passed on or given um my daughter has his Sandlin as her middle name. Oh my God, because he just told me here like that the name was passed on. So know that that would be your father from the other side saying that he sees this. Kind of like his validation, just that he, he knows this here in this world. And I'm also hearing the name John as well. So I'm not sure if there's a John or Jonathan that he would be with on the other side because your dad has like so many people that are around him. It shows me here like that they're all like very loud and like running around with one another and like remembering the times when he was here in this <laughs> I'm physical say, he's world. he's telling me to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, one of the things that he keeps telling me is that he, that he wants you to go out and to enjoy enjoy life, to, you know, go on vacation, to have fun, to enjoy yourself, because, you know, you're constantly, like, going, 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 and he's like, don't move through life quickly, you know, it takes some time to enjoy yourself as well, and he keeps saying here to make sure that you read, because I keep saying, like, he was either an avid reader or loved to read when he was here in this world, it, it helped him to relax, and he's telling me here, like, passing it on to you, and also, like, he keeps showing me here, like, trips by water or going by water with your dad, so, like, I, I think he went to the beach with one another, like, all right. the time, that was his own way, way to relax and kind of just de-stress, so he's bringing it to you as well and saying here, like, if you're ever feeling stressed, you know, to go by the water. And I want to come to you, Scott, really quick, because you also have, like, a loud family on the other side that tell me here, like, everybody lived together or was with one another. And one of the things that I keep hearing with you is that you have, like, a lot of creative ability that you need to move forward with. And, and um, they keep telling me here that you're very good at communication, in other words, and to, that there's a lot of open doors. I keep seeing, like, you networking or being around people and things like that, and those on the other side stepping forward and, like, um, letting you know they're supporting you and watching over you. There's a military man who steps forward that had passed. Shows me here that He's smoking on the other side um, that I would believe is either a grandfather to you or yeah, was this, this your grand big smoker yeah military ten seconds yeah. Okay. Run out of time, so but... know that oh, we have 10 seconds okay so know that he's stepping forward that's uh, that's around you tells me here that he either passed of the chest that there's multiple parts of his body that were affected but comes through to let you know that he's okay and that he's the one that's watching over you from the other side thank, thank you. you we'll see you tomorrow Bye. thanks Matt <laughs> thank you. Yeah,